Epictetus, um, the slave turned Stoic teacher, had a threefold training in order to train his students in Stoicism. And that's the format of the book that Masamu and my book is based upon. It's called The Three Disciplines. And his second of the three disciplines, the discipline of action, gives a kind of recipe for um, going forward and knowing how to act. And the first and main thing to keep in mind is trying to fulfill your role as a human being in all mm. circumstances and to never sacrifice it. And so what that means in practice is when thinking about how to act, one should ideally never sacrifice one's rationality and prosociality. And so what this can do is help rule out and possibly rule in certain forms of action. So for instance, in the current shutdown that many cities are facing around COVID-19, uh, one uh, like a, a thought that initially crossed my mind is like, why should I care really about this? It's not a big deal. Like uh, the death rate is relatively low and I'm in a low risk group. Okay, um, so maybe I shouldn't, but then, I thought about it a little more clearly and realized that I'm in constant contact with people who are in high risk groups. Furthermore, if I go and I'm careless and uh, infect, I infect the 2.5 people who I'm prone to infect through the current epidemiological models, and then those people infect more people and more people, my action would have rippled out and harmed people and gotten to people who would have been more vulnerable. And so this mix, this kind of reasoning mixes prosociality and reasoning. Um, so firstly, I want to point out that the thought came to my mind, like, I shouldn't care about it. And um, there are plenty of reasons why I'm not a sage and I'm a bad human being, but having the initial thought is not one of them. The initial thoughts aren't in one's control. Um, mm -hmm. The stoic practice comes up in trying to work with it. It's like, ah, okay, there's the thought. I don't really need to care about this. But let me reason that through. Do I not? Well, if I want to be more pro-social and I want to try to practice stoicism, then the, this will have negative consequences for other people. And I should reason those through. Maybe, you know, maybe the epidemiological models are wrong, though, as a base rate, I should probably trust the experts since I don't know as much about this. So based on what the experts are saying um, and based on the fact that there are a lot of people who are vulnerable, who I'm in immediate contact with, and if not immediate, it can spread out, I should do my best to practice uh, safe hygiene and minimize my exposure to people and also, you know, get enough to take care of my immediate environment, but not like poured toilet paper because, you know, I can take a shower at the end of the day if I need to. It's <laughs> 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 toilet paper Toilet paper is nice, but it's not a necessity. We have some newspaper and stuff. I have some books behind me, you know, so <laughs> I can manage. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll start with the fiction, um, but yeah. then go on. Um, but, you know, like, so I could do a little bit to take care of myself, but I don't need to panic and become completely selfish in order to do it. So that's kind of stoic reasoning in a nutshell and how reasoning things through based on the best evidence. Notice there, I trust the experts too. I don't necessarily know a whole lot about this. I'm actually, my day job is uh, taking a look at uh, the evidence base for nutritional supplements. I am the editor in chief for one of the major products for examine.com and I'm trained as a pharmacist. So I actually do know a little bit about medicine um, and that's primarily what I do, but um, still I don't know much about epidemiology. Um, so I should still trust the experts and plus what the experts are saying coheres with what I know. So doing all these reasonable checks makes me fulfill my role as a human being by trying to exercise my brain instead, instead of just saying, ah, danger, I need to protect myself. Um, because that's just a knee-jerk reaction and that's putting myself as a victim of circumstance and as a regional being who wants to be more free and self-actualizing, I'd like to act against that when I can and when I can catch myself, which is not all the time, but that's why it's a practice. Yeah.